Okay. okay. movie corner and today we will be reviewing Dragon Ball Z Resurrection F the sequel to Dragon Ball Z uh, Battle of Gods which I have already done a review for so if you haven't seen that go check that out now being a sequel and I, I liked uh, Battle of Gods so being a sequel to that I was actually really looking forward to this and you know Akira Toriyama came back on again you know he, he's really stepping up uh, to bring these movies and the the thing I liked about the the first one is that it felt like a combination between Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z this movie feels more like a Dragon Ball Z movie and a lot of people might be like well that can't be a bad thing right that's a good thing and look, it's not it's not terribly bad that it is. I'm just saying, what I'm saying is, it focuses more on the action. There's humor in it, but it does focus a lot more on the action of it. And because it focuses so much on the action, it kind of takes away a little bit from the plot. Um, there's, there's definite moments in it where they kind of skip ahead a little bit, or they just kind of uh, explain something away, you know, uh, that really we should have gotten to see a little bit more of I'll give you an example and I don't think this really spoils anything but uh, for example there's a new form uh, a new level for that uh, Goku can reach in this movie and it's uh, like a Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan I think is what it, it's where he has blue hair but the thing is he, when he's fighting Frieza and he goes he goes into that he goes straight into that he goes from regular uh, regular form to, uh, straight into that and so and he explains it away a little bit with like just a, a little minute to explain how he's able to do that but I, I felt like that kind of that took me out of the movie for a minute because I, I was like well you know we never saw this so this is just something that happened off screen that we're just being told about and it would have been nice to actually have it happen within the movie so um anyway so and you know it, this movie does have it does have humor in it it doesn't focus on as much but it is still there uh this the side characters are once again they're kind of put into the background they have a few little moments, but they're they're not many. And the real focus, of course, is on Frieza and Goku. And I gotta say, this movie disappointed me a little bit because the way they set the movie up, the way that they they presented, you know, the 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 concept of the story here, they didn't deliver on what what I thought I would get out of this movie. Now that's not to say I, I dislike this movie. I did like this movie. It was a good movie. And I like seeing Frieza again. You know, Frieza played a really big part in the Dragon Ball Z series. So to see him come back and have this new power was was cool. But and you know, one of the problems I also had was this movie pre presents ideas, and they've done these in in you know in movies all the time. They present the idea of something being a possibility happening during the movie. And it gets to a point in the movie where I think that they're actually going to uh, to go upon that idea that they kind of put in their head, and then they don't. And the way the movie wraps up, it's kind of a kind of a cheap way to do it. And I didn't I didn't really care for it. I didn't really care for the ending. So, you know, all that being said, I, again, action was good, animation was great. You know, it does continue the story and I do like that I I like seeing Frieza again you know and there's there's definitely moments in this movie that I really enjoyed and I enjoyed the humor also there's a character um Jocko I think is what his name is and I don't know how many people know this so I'm just gonna <laughs> let you know but 
he is actually he was actually in a uh, manga short that I think it was one of the specials that Akira did in a Shonen Jump series and it was really cool because to have him just show up in the movie and then Bulma recognizes him and everything and so it kind of ties into that I thought that was really cool it was really cool to, to see his character um, but anyway so writing this movie I'm going to I'm going to give it a 6.8 out of 10. And I was conflicting between that or 7, but I just I don't think it's quite strong enough to warrant a 7. I, again, I don't like the ending. There's stuff, like there's cheap stuff that happens in the movie. There's characters that kind of get shortchanged or aren't in there at all. And I do feel like, for me, I, I just enjoyed uh, Battle of Gods more. However, you know... Again, opinion is opinion. Like, let me know what you think. Have you seen this movie? Do you agree or do you disagree? What did you like or didn't like about this movie? And try not to spoil too much, but you know what? You know, just in general, what did you like or dislike about it? Anyway, guys, so that'll wrap this up. And uh, until next time, peace.